that's a handful of deliciousness right there. Now that is a beautiful palette, isn't it? Good yardening, everybody. We just got an amazing rain yesterday, the first rain we've had in a couple of weeks, and I'm out here ready to pick some breakfast for my family. You know, when we talk about why we come out here and garden, what we're trying to accomplish for our family, one of the key areas here is to be able to grow organic, delicious foods that we can feed them that are going to help improve their overall health. And the fruits and berries that I'm gonna pick this morning for breakfast are gonna do exactly that. Now, usually when I talk about our currants, I only talk about two varieties that we have, our black currants here and our pink champagne currants here. But we actually have three varieties. The third, that you can see on this plant, is a white currant. So let me pick a couple of each of these and I'll show you the difference. One thing I should note about all of our currants is that they are pretty compact bushes. So you don't need a ton of space, maybe four feet wide. They get about you know, four or so feet tall, but they are plentiful producers. You're gonna find that regardless of the type of current that you plant, you should get plenty of fruit off here. And then it's just about taking the time to pull them all off. Of the three varieties that we grow, the black currant seems to be the least delicate of the varieties and you can choose to pick it off by pulling off the entire bunch or you can harvest them individually but yeah these are definitely a thicker skin than the other varieties that we grow so i don't have to be as careful with these these won't uh, squish i'll say quite as easily as the others as i'm picking them off take a look at these now this is definitely of all the types of currants that we grow this is the tartest version but I think this is also the one that is most commonly made into jam. The pink and the white currants, on the other hand, I still can pull them off individually. Actually, they come off a little bit easier off the stem, but they're definitely more delicate. The skin on these is not very firm. They break open really easily. There you can see the seed inside of this pink one. And these have a much sweeter flavor, in my opinion. Actually, the pink and the white, to me, have a pretty similar sweet flavor. So with these, as I'm pulling them off, again, I just wanna be nice and careful. This can take a little while, but they're really easy to extract from the plant. The key is just making sure you don't miss any. Take a look at those. All right, let me get a couple of these white ones off here, and then I'll talk a little bit about the difference in health benefits between these and our black currants. It always amazes me that the birds don't go for these more than they do. Maybe you've had a different experience than I have, but to me, I think it's awesome that they leave these alone. So we always have plenty to harvest. Take a look at that bunch. Just using my thumbs, peeling them right off, right off of their stem. Again, you could harvest the entire stem, but it's really easy to do. Now that is a beautiful palette, isn't it? Let's do a little taste test real quick. I've got plenty more to pick, but I want to see the difference here and explain the difference between the taste of each of these three. Well, we'll start with the black currant, which gets to be the biggest out of all three varieties. It's also the one that's the most tart. It also happens to be the type of currant that is the best for you nutritionally. Each of these, yeah, that's pretty tart. Now, each of these varieties of currant have a good amount of fiber, but this one is the highest in vitamin C. Now, they all do have vitamin C in them, but this is the best one for you. That being said, that tartness makes it not as good for fresh eating. The white currant is actually the least nutritionally valuable out of all of them. But it's really nice and sweet. It still has a little bit of a tartness to it, but nothing close to the black currant. And it still is high in vitamin C, along with a lot of other antioxidants as well. The pink champagne currant, which is my favorite, is the same size as the white currant, and I think it's the sweetest out of all three of those. They're all going to have a bit of tartness to it, but that one, for my money, is the one that I think my family likes the best as well. Again, they're all really good for you. Now, you can create your entire serving out of a combination of the different berries and fruits that I'm going to eat, I mean, pick today. And so you're going to find that that combination is quite healthy and there's a lot of health benefits to everything that we're picking in our garden today. 
Now, of course, we have to move over to this explosion of flavor, my absolute favorite berry that I'm gonna pick today for breakfast, and that's these gooseberries. When they're green like this and hard, they're pretty sour. When they get to this reddish color like this, they are soft. It is an explosion of flavor. It's like you pop it and the sweetest, greatest treat you could imagine is right there. These are loaded down with dietary fiber. Once again, they're high in vitamin C. They've got vitamin B in here. They've got zinc. They are packed with nutrients and very low calorie. A great breakfast addition. And a large part of the stems of these are covered in the berries. Now, I don't like to pull the whole cluster off. I like to just pull them off individually. And these are still tasty, even if they're not perfectly red, as long as they're a little bit soft. We've waited long enough into the season where most of the ones on here are ripe. Super easy to pick. The one thing to keep in mind with a gooseberry though, is there are lots of sharp thorns on here. You see that? So you wanna be careful not to get poked while you're picking. That's a handful of deliciousness right there. All right, bear with me. I realize that these aren't berries this isn't fruit but this is borage and it tastes like cucumber so i'm going to add a couple of these flowers to our morning breakfast harvest these are so tasty when it comes to edible flowers this is in my opinion well this is my favorite edible flower i love nasturtiums too but it's a very different taste than these these are so sweet and of course you can eat the leaves as well I just love the taste of those flowers and they're so pretty and delicate. Now, while most of our black raspberries, we've already picked all those, those summer bearing are pretty much done. We still have some golden raspberries on here. My favorite type of raspberry, really sweet. Another great source of vitamin C and fiber. All these berries have that ability to bring the fiber, that dietary fiber that's so important to our digestion for us. And so I'll come out here again, the kids love these too. They're super sweet. Let me show you this up close. Take a look at these. I mean, why wouldn't the kids love the taste of something? These are delicate. You don't even feel the seed inside this variety. You really don't. You know, a lot of the black raspberries, I love them, but a lot of those black raspberries, when you're eating them, that seed gets stuck in your mouth. Not with these and not with the next ones I'm gonna show you. Well, it's starting to rain again, something we desperately need. So no problems there, but I think we're getting done just in time. I'm over here by our Heritage Red Raspberries, a fall bearing variety. And this variety is super delicious, really sweet. Again, those seeds, not really big seeds in size. So you're not gonna taste those so much. We've already harvested multiple pounds off of this ever bearing or fall bearing variety. And so we're just still enjoying this. I mean, it, the beauty of a variety like this, an ever-bearing variety, is that you're gonna get multiple harvests, unlike a lot of the other types of raspberries. Multiple harvests of these delicious raspberries. And so these, once again, high in fiber. All of our raspberries are high in fiber. That's one of the benefits of raspberries. High in vitamin C. And so what we're really getting out of all of this is some incredibly nutritionally dense breakfast. This is food that I can feed to my family with no regrets, no concerns, because I've raised it. I know exactly what's in it. There's no pesticides, just health benefits. And believe me when I say this is the tastiest food I think you can give your family for breakfast. Now we add these berries to some of our quail eggs. So we've got a lot of great protein there from our organically grown quail eggs that we have here at Guten Yardening. And then we've got a breakfast filled with all the nutritional value we need to get started for a good day's work. Take a look at what's available to our family here at Guten Yardening. Simply from putting a few berry bushes in the ground a couple of years ago, take a look at the colors and imagine the tastes that my family is going to enjoy here in a couple of minutes. Well, we hope you enjoyed this quick video today and are encouraged to try growing your own breakfast in your garden. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give us a like, leave us a comment, remember to share and subscribe. Most importantly, remember, when you're with us, you are good to grow.